Today was both an amazing day and a piece of garbage day. I have some fun stories for you. <laughs> I have some fun stories. It started with a message from a friend that they had tickets to the Beach Boys. They were like, hey, um, Beach Boys are playing in Coney Island. Do you want to come? So the Beach Boys is one of my, my favorites and mainly like pet sounds into early 70s Beach Boys and I, I do like the earlier hits too, but I'm not like too crazy about it. I had um, a barbecue I could have gone to, but I was like, oh, free show to the Beach Boys. They got free tickets. It's like, I can't turn this up. I've been listening to them a lot. Now, the Beach Boys these days is basically, okay, the Beach Boys was the Wilson brothers. Brian, who was the genius, he was a little screwed up. Acid kind of screwed him up, sadly. Um, Dennis, who was the drummer, and Carl, who had an amazing voice. And um, Al Jardine, and also their uh, their cousin, Mike Love. At the moment, Mike Love is is basically all that's left of, of this band from the original lineup. Brian doesn't want to play with them, really, or he's off doing his own thing. There's There's been reports of bad blood, which, I mean, it's it's unconfirmed, but... So it's not the real Beach Boys, it's 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 just... It's Beach Boy. And, and Mike Love is, let me tell you something, Mike Love is in Mike Love with himself. So, no, I mean, there's a few people in, in the band that I'm, I'm really interested in, in, you know, in seeing, and they were, they were, they were good. I got to Coney Island, I found a spot, so I was like, this is gonna be cool. The show itself was, was pretty okay. It's a, I was at the Coney Island Amphitheater, this new amphitheater, only four bands have played there. It's still not even finished yet. And, um, it was a decent venue, and I had a good time, and fucking John Stamos was there. John Stamos... Yes, Uncle Jesse and his rippers, no, well, just Uncle Jesse, was going between drums, singing, guitar, bongos, keyboards, he does everything. Now, he's played with the, the Beach Boys before, so this is nothing new, but he was really good. And, uh, whenever, I felt like whenever the audience was getting bored, they just cut to a shot of John Stamos, like, looking sexy, and then you just heard, ah! And it was, <laughs> like, clapping. The band was pretty good. Uh, again, it, it was a little, um, they just, they just went through the, the, the set. It was like, they did like 40 songs, guys. I mean, Beach Boys songs are, we're talking like a minute and a half to two minutes for most of the early ones. I was, I was pleased. It was, it was the best free show. The sound was good. They, they seemed enthusiastic. And I'm, the presence of Brian Wilson was very much missed. They did a tribute to Carl and Dennis and it was nice. And, and they even did a tribute to George Harrison of the Beatles. So for me, I was, I enjoyed that. Then there was fireworks afterwards. So Coney Island, I haven't been to in years. I saw the white stripes at Coney Island and, and it was, it was cool. I haven't really had a reason to go to Coney Island. First, um, I will say Coney Island is a weird place because it is both incredibly magical and fun and the worst shithole on the planet, both at the same time. You know, we're talking like, I actually, outside, was was smelling people on the boardwalk. It was like a, a meat canoe. It was disgusting. There were so many people on the boardwalk and it was like kind of gross out. Um, people were smoking hookah on the side of the boardwalk. I saw a dude take a piss on a wall. You know, like it was just weird. So after the show, I am now really hungry. And I, you know, I'm like, oh, we should grab something to eat. So we go to Nathan's. The line for Nathan's earlier was a clusterfuck. I, I've never seen 50 people in a hot dog uniform serving hot dogs all at the same time. That Nathan's is fucking packed and massive. We went over to the Nathan's and we are now engaging in, uh, in eating Nathan and it's starting to, it's starting to rain really hard. People are scattering. And we get some food, the fireworks go off. So while we're eating Nathan's, there's um, there's a fight. Two girls start fighting, because I guess they're fighting over how to grapefruit one's mans. I don't know. They punch each other in the face. They're grabbing each other's hair. They're on the floor. One girl's punching the other girl in the face repeatedly. And while this is happening, there's little kids dancing. And they're like, oh shit! There's a dude pointing like, oh! Like, like, egging them on, like, yeah, punch the bitch! I was like, really? Tourists? 
I see tourists with cameras just taking pictures of it and smiling. Like this was a thing that they wanted from New York. Like they came to New York to see this. They were egging it on. They were enjoying it. And I'm just trying to eat my hot dog in peace. And I'm just like, really? Is this really happening right now on 4th of July? It's, it's like, it's America. The Beach Boys and a fight. And John Stamos. This is, well, he's Greek. But it's, a, it's just America in a nutshell. So... Then, like, the cops come, they clear it out, the, the tourists stop taking pictures. You know, they, they, they leave, and, um... Two lovers, you know, they come, and, and they start making out in the seat where the, the violence happened. Not three minutes before that, and I'm just like, this is a really bizarre night so far. So the lane, the, the rain broke, and I was like, alright guys, I gotta, let me head over to my car. You know, it's only like a 40 minute... It's a 30 to 40 minute drive to Staten Island. You know what's cool though? It's it's cool when you're stuck in, in a parking lot trying to get out of it for a full 30 minutes. So you may wonder how long it took me to get home from Coney Island, which is normally a half hour drive. Uh, two hours. Two hours. There was an accident. People were, um, were cluster fucked. You know, because it's, it's Coney Island, it's starting to rain, the Beach Boys were in town, and there were fireworks. And I'm the asshole who had to go eat Na Nathan's. I had to eat Nathan's right before leaving. I should have just left. I should have just left. I didn't know. Well, here's how I made it home. I actually, at one point, my gas went from three bars down to one. So that's how I knew it was like, say, 3%. I counted 10 red lights that nothing moved for a, a time. I'm now freaking out. It's coming down really hard. The rain is now the worst it's been all day. And I'm like, I'm not going to make it to a gas station. I know where one is, but I'm not going to make, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to run out of gas. I'm like, I'm like freaking, I'm like, oh God, oh God, oh God. So I decide, all right. Now this is, keep in mind, this is an hour and te 10 minutes after I leave the lot. I decide that my best course of action was to park and wait for the traffic to go away and that way I could just drive to the gas station which is probably like 700 feet away but well more than that but it's like you know 10 blocks away so not 700 feet so I pull over and then I realize holy shit I have to piss worse than I've ever had to piss in my entire life it's this story like I said it gets worse So I had a water bottle and I figured, well, it's dark and it's raining really hard. So uh, I, I did what I had to do. And uh, who do I see walk next to me? John Stamos. No, actually a cop starts, <laughs> a cop starts walking onto the, the left of my car and they kind of glanced in and I was afraid they were going to catch me pissing into a bottle, but no. They just kept walking, so I got lucky. Or they didn't care. John Stamos saw me piss in a bottle in my car on 1% gas. Like, guys, I, I really had to go. I really, really had to go. There was there was no other option. There, there was an option. It would have been pissed my pants, I guess, but... So now I'm starting to curse the Beach Boys. I'm like, you fucking cunt, Mike Love, I fucking hate you. Mike Love, you piece of shit. You didn't even have Brian. Where was Brian? Wait, why Why did I go see Mike Love? I don't want to give this guy my, my satisfaction. So now I'm turning into a salty asshole about a guy I've never met that doesn't know I exist. So... I guess the end of the story is the traffic cleared. I got gas. Um... <laughs> Uh, I, I, a dude almost crashed into me at the gas station, and then I waited, uh, I, there was a bit more traffic, and I got home. And, uh, that's my story, everyone. That is, that was my day. I made it home in one piece. It took two hours, and I wanted to murder, um, Mike Love. <laughs> but then I forgave him. I, I said, I rationalized, it wasn't his fault. Mike Love had nothing to do with this. No, I threw the piss bottle out. Why are you asking me if I still have the piss bottle? How much for the piss bottle is the first thing I see in chat now. Great. I'm gonna stop talking about piss bottles, Mike Love, fights on Coney Island. Also, there was a Magnum condom on the boardwalk for someone's monster dong.
So that was my, my Coney Island whitefish experience. <laughs>